Let artisan kitchens and baths make the possibilities come to life in your home. Visit us at 200 Amherst Street in Buffalo. I teach music at the Nichols Middle School. Um, for the past 14 years, I've taught general music, grades five through eight. I've known Corinne since high school. Um, we live in a small town and everybody knows everybody else. She's just this sparkly, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful human being. A lot of people that I knew uh, were getting sick. In 1997, I discovered I had cancer, which is shocking to anyone. She's got such a positive spirit. She's, she's a beautiful person, not only on the outside, but on the inside. She's a cancer survivor. One can do anything if one has wonderful friends. I recorded an album of my own songs with the help of some good friends and decided that I would dedicate the album and the sales of the CD to Roswell. The CD is on sale at Barnes & Noble on Niagara Falls Boulevard and it's in the Roswell Park gift shop and it's $10 and 100% of the proceeds go back to Roswell Park. We're doing something a little different today. I spoke to Corinne, the homeowner, and she cooks out of the refrigerator. And that's what we're gonna do today. Let's open this refrigerator up and see what we got going on. Let's go. A lot of people cook from the fridge, and when I do cooking classes, I always talk about, you know, using leftovers and incorporating them into your meal. We found some peppers, onions, and mushrooms that were in the refrigerator. There was a can of San Marzano tomatoes that we found in the cupboard. We used it to make a filet pizzaiola, which is an Italian staple dish. The first thing I saw when I opened the fridge was the citrus the lemon and the oranges, and then there was eggs by it. I'm like, oh my gosh, I wanted to do Crepe Suzette, but I did want to walk in with something. I was real proud to walk in with my homemade cheesecake ice cream. And then we made a spinach salad. We found some spinach and some honey mustard. We just added some oil and vinegar, some dried cherries to it, some feta cheese. It was great. It's a lot of fun. Today, Today we're, we're cooking, cooking red, red meat. meat. Red um, meat. It's going to be brown meat. No, it's not going to be brown meat because you're cooking meat. with meat today. Basically, she wanted to learn how to not make it brown and not make it gray. So I'm going to have you open the San Marzano tomatoes, okay. and I'll start cutting the pepper. So we're just going to cut our vegetables up. We slice the steaks about a half an inch thick, and we just pan seared them in olive oil, nice hot pan. Got it about 17,000 degrees because okay. this stove is amazing that came from Artisan Kitchens. Yep. We're gonna cook this medium rare. Mm. Hear that sizzle? That's what we want. We added some red peppers, some mushrooms and onions, a little bit of garlic to it. San Marzano tomatoes finished with some red wine. Simmer for a few minutes, get to the right temperature, top it with fresh mozzarella, finish it with the sauce, a little grated Romano cheese. Mmm, mozzarella, tomatoes. What are, what's with these knives? I mean, your kitchen's beautiful, but these knives are like cutting with newspaper. It's a work in progress, you, and I don't cook meat, so your steak? I don't need any knives, but now I'm gonna have to cook meat. Where's your steak? I made it medium well for you. And it's you're right here, don't steak. you see it? <laughs> Unbelievable. Crepes, I've done those a million times in a million ways. Today, we're doing the sweet crepe. How does that sound? And we'll finish it with that ice cream? It sounds great. Okay, well, I'll tell you what. I'm gonna have you in charge of the crepes. And um, do you mind whisking? No, I don't okay. at all. Your, your job is to whisk. We're gonna start out very simply. This is a I very- I start right, up, right as soon as uh, you get yeah, it on. This is a very, very basic crepe recipe. Okay. Eggs and sugar for a sweeter crepe. Equal parts milk and then flour. Whisk it really good. Finish it with a bit of vanilla. I grated some orange zest in it because I was really in the mood to just kick it up with flavor. And then I added some Grand Marnier. So let's let that rest, we'll clean up, and uh, you're gonna be flipping some crepes in just a minute here. Okay, great. <laughs> First of all, I have to say I had a lot of fun with Kathy today. Some people just think they can't flip a crepe. The most important thing I share with you today is using a Teflon pan. I got to make them and flip them, and I like the crepes. For the sauce, it's just equal parts butter and I use brown sugar. A lot of times it'll crystallize on people, so my little secret was to use corn syrup. I added some more orange zest and lemon juice. Finished it with, once again, Grand Marnier. I put the orange segments in there, laid the crepe, folded it over, and then we garnished it with orange segments, a bit of sauce, and of course, the homemade cheesecake ice cream. Oh there we go. boy, I can't wait to try it. Mmm. Mm. C'est magnifique. Delicious. So Isabella, I saw some things that were hanging out in the refrigerator. I think we throw together a nice salad. What do you think? Excellent, excellent. We'll make a dressing. Okay. Okay, ready? Start whisking. Do you mm -hmm. Go ahead, what are you going to ask me? I was going to say, do you start with the mustard and then incorporate the oil or the vinegar? Who's the chef? You are. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot the mustard. I forgot. 
So she pointed that out. Thanks, Isabella. <laughs> He's a very lovable, likable, fun person. And he cooks well. We made a dressing which was real simple. Olive oil, balsamic vinegar, honey mustard, squeeze of a lemon, a little salt and pepper. Tossed it together with some dried cherries, some feta cheese and onion. I mean, it really is a simple, fresh dish and the girls loved it. Mmm. 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 The meal was great. The meat was good. I liked the sauce. It was just fun. I loved the whole thing. I loved making it, but I particularly loved eating it. That was the best part. My friends are so special to me. This was just another nice bonding experience. Just a great way to spend a Tuesday afternoon in Buffalo, New York. And now, not only am I a sexual goddess, a wonderful mother, a perfect wife, I am now a gourmet cook. All in one afternoon. <laughs> I hope you loved it. Come dine with me. Western New York.